<laughs> Father, thank you so much for your kindness, for your generosity and everything, your mercy and grace in sending us Jesus, showing the world that you love us by sending Jesus. Tonight I praise you for our guest that's with us, that you're going to speak the word of the Lord and that all of us, Lord, as you give us thoughts and, and input into this, that the scriptures will come to our minds, that will be clear and uh, concise in what we have to say, that it will give glory to God and people will be intrigued or they will be touched or they will be inspired yes. or they will simply say, you know what, those guys, I don't know what's wrong with them. <laughs> but either way, Lord, we're going to talk about Jesus tonight. We yes. give you the glory. Yes. Amen. And thank you. Amen and amen. 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 Well, here we are back for another amen. one. And uh, let's start off uh, this uh, novel show with four of us tonight. We have a special guest. We'll start with her. This is Dr. Jan McNutt, who is from Texas. She's in visiting with us. And, of course, to her right, as always, over here on your left, camera-wise, that's my sister, Dr. Debbie Brewer, my mom here in the middle anchoring this thing. Uh, Dr. Jean Chesser and I'm Dr. Daryl Chesser that uh, has uh, the, the male voice in this, in this thing. And um, one of the things I, I, I think about in, in presentations and speaking to people is this, this idea of the burning bush comes up. Uh, a simple idea of this, wait, what? That I will turn aside and, and see what this is about. And I have found that the kingdom and that revelation and that wisdom from God is a simple, yes. God put something out there to see if you're inquisitive. Uh, Proverbs 25, I think it's verse two says, it's the glory of God to conceal a thing, Amen. Amen. but it's the honor of kings, kings yes. to search it out. Mm -hmm. And so it's like bait. He puts, yes. he puts things yes. in parables. He puts yes. things in stories. <laughs> he puts things there in plain sight. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you turn and go, wait, what, what, what's this? And you begin to inquire, mm -hmm. the voice starts to come. Mm -hmm. Hey, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> so that is, the, that is the main line of, of where I believe we are, is to lift up Christ, to make him attractive, Amen. Mm -hmm. to put this light up on a stick, as it were, yes. the light, of the, yes. the, light yes. of the world in us, to make him attractive. Yes. Amen. Yeah. So that people will turn and look and say, wait a minute, what? I thought he was mean, but wait a minute, you, you say he's good. Yes. And to see if there's any inquisitive nature, will they stop and turn aside and say, I will turn aside and see why this bush is burning but is not consumed. Yes, because one of the saddest scriptures that I, uh, it's in uh, Romans and it's in the Amplified, but I've always thought this was one of the saddest scriptures I've ever read. It says they didn't even consider God worth the mm -hmm. knowing. Yes. I mean, so they, they just rejected yes. it without even finding out what he's about. Yes. And that to me is terribly sad. But what I love, uh, Daryl, because I've heard you talk about that burning bush before. Um, and, I, and I remember when I first read that, I will turn aside, which is weird. Because none of us would <laughs> say, like, well, that's kind of strange. <laughs> but we have no indication that bush could have been burning for 30 yes. days. Yes. And yes. finally he goes... I'm going to stop and see what this is about. And uh, we had a ladies retreat over the weekend that we were ministering at. And my prayer was that as we spoke and as we ministered Jesus, that his fragrance yes. would, would make people salivate <laughs> and it would just make them hunger for him. And um, that's not all that we hear all the time. We hear a lot of do's mm -hmm. and don'ts, but not the fragrance of Jesus. The, and, and the funny thing uh, about that scripture, if I remember correctly, it's the fragrance of life and of beauty to those who are living and, mm -hmm. and being attracted yes. to it. Yes. But it's, it's the aroma of death yeah. to, to those, those who are perishing. Yeah. 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 And you see that quite clearly in the society or uh, people that you just engage to talk and you start to go down that road a little bit and it's, you, you can see that, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. that they, it's the stench yes. of death yeah. to them. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going, okay, that, you need some more time, I get it. And you walk around, I'm going to talk to somebody who thinks I smell good. <laughs> Yeah, but when you do find someone that, that they do start the, smelling the fragrance, there's nothing like when you see their face because their yes. eyes oh, will yeah. fill up with tears and mm -hmm. could this really be true? Could Jesus really love me? And it's just, it's amazing. And you, you know that the enemy has to deceive people mm -hmm. to make Jesus yes. look terrible and religious mm -hmm. with all the do's and don'ts because to know what he's really about is so attractive. He has to deceive mm -hmm. people to not want to go there because it's so good. Now, we have to stop and explain the rules to our new 
game show host here. Jump is, in? Yeah, anytime you just kind of jump in. If I don't like what you say, I'll just edit it out. <laughs> so in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, um, it says, The God of this world has blinded the eyes yes. of those yes. so that they won't see the glorious yes. light of the gospel. Now, mm -hmm. the, the blinding, in my own opinion, the blinding is not like, oh, you, you'll never be able to see Jesus. Some mm -hmm. people will never be able to see. It's like you started that scripture about they counted God not worth the knowing. Yes. Mm -hmm. The burning bush was there somewhere in their life. Yeah. And it burned mm -hmm. and yeah. it burned yeah. and it burned. And, and the Inquisition, because the devil will whisper mm -hmm. in your ear with friends or media yes. or other things or experiences and saying, that's nothing. That's nothing. Those guys are just crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you don't even turn to look at it. Don't even engage it. Walk on by. Nobody says, like you said, how long was the bush burning? And how many shepherds or no men or, or, or nomads or sheep come back? You know? <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> they, may, they may have been more curious than yeah, him. Yeah. Yeah. And God said, keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> or how many ended up being a sacrifice yeah. to me? Dear little sheepy sheepy. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to hit the other floor. <laughs> <laughs> but it tells us in Psalms that the heavens declare mm -hmm. the glory of God. Yes. And, yes. I, and I really believe at the, at the end of, of time, when the, at the judgment seat for, all, for everyone and all, and go, being in heaven at the throne, there is no one that can put their finger in God's face and say, you yeah, didn't. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. Because the heavens declare. I mean, the yes. changing seasons, yes. The, yes. the even the stars. Yes. I heard someone preach the other day about even in the constellations, like we have Virgo, the Virgin, and then it ends up with uh, the Leo, the Lion. And in Romans, it talks about being born of a Virgin, the Virgo, and then about the Lion of the tribe of Judah. So even the constellations mm -hmm. tell the story of Jesus and, and the history or you know his life story. So God is all around. But it's like you said, do we even take the yes. time to look? Yes. Once you start to investigate, once that taste mm -hmm. and see that the Lord is good, mm -hmm. once that, I think the old parable, the Jewish and, and maybe other people, that they would put the honey on the tongue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And to start to get that taste, taste and see, the sweet taste. Mm -hmm. But once you begin to taste and see, There's nothing. then it's like, I, I, I want to go find more. Yes. I'm, yes. I'm going to go find yes. more. And, mm -hmm. and you begin to see it. It's like you start reading the Bible different. Yes. Mm -hmm. You start looking for that taste again. And you begin to find that taste. Jesus, the Christ, the Word, mm -hmm. the Alpha and Omega, beginning and end. You, you find him from the beginning to the end. He's yes. hidden in plain sight all through the Bible. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So in Texas, do they read the Bible? <laughs> of course they read the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. We don't have any. <laughs> Yeah, but they got good barbecue. <laughs> well, the song I keep hearing in my spirit tonight is how great is our God. Oh, yes. yes. Because the gospel is for everybody. They're not chosen for just individuals that are going to be a part of this. But Jesus died for everybody in the world. And he took care of all the sins of the world. The sacrifice, you talked about mm -hmm. the sheep going by the fire, the burning bush, some could have been a sacrifice. But Jesus was a sacrifice that yes. was the lamb slain from the foundation of the world for every person, for every sin that ever has mm -hmm. been con uh, committed, is being committed, or will be mm -hmm. committed. His blood can wash all of that away from any and all of us. And I am so thankful for that, that part of the burning bush that caught my attention was how great is our God yes. and that he died for me and that he loves me. I, in fact, I think I'm really his favorite. <laughs> <laughs> like one of the ladies at the retreat says, my picture's on his refrigerator. <laughs> That's how favorite she was. Yeah, so do you want to tell us a little bit about what happened this weekend? Oh, I guess I'm that one. <laughs> we had uh, just a phenomenal time. Last year was the first year that we had 
uh, retreat, uh, the ladies who get out of town. And uh, this year we felt it was a little different. And these were the ladies who were invited out of town. And uh, we went to the beach and we got to stay in a beautiful condo. And uh, we were all in one. It was just a small group, 11 of us. But man, the presence of the Lord was phenomenal. Yes. And these ladies spoke and did great jobs. And I, I, everybody got a prophetic word. And it was just, it was phenomenal. And I think everybody left changed in yes. some way. Yes. I mean, and it was just. I think we need to explain a little bit about the invitation because we prayed about who were who was supposed to be invited and we only invited those that we heard the Lord speak. Many they were to come. Many are, many <laughs> many are called. A few few are are <laughs> <laughs> but but um, we're going to see what the Lord does with this each time because we're learning to follow the Lord that it isn't in rote, it isn't in tradition. Uh, we just hear from the Lord, okay, this is the way you do it this time. And we're free enough and brave enough and know Jesus loves us enough, we can do it. I think that was one of my favorite things were, was that we, we were patient and, and just still before the Lord, even when we began to pray and before we began mm -hmm. to pro prophesy, it wasn't just automatically praying mm -hmm. yeah. prayers and just yeah. jumping in and, and having our own words. We waited to hear. Yes. And the Holy Spirit began to be very specific. Mm -hmm. And some unusual words came yes. forth, but they were sure words from the Lord, yeah. and, it, and it was amazing. So what were some of the topics that were covered? Well, I spoke about the woman at the well and her finding rest in Jesus when she came to the well. And uh, can you imagine this woman? She's been married five times, and the man she's with is not her husband and the shame and disgrace, but she came and Jesus never condemned her. Jesus only commended her because she told the truth when she told him that, and he commended her. And then he said, well, go call your husband. And she said, well, you know, the man I'm living with isn't my husband. But she went into the city and told the men of the city about she felt like she had found the Messiah because he had told her everything she had ever done. And the men of the city came out on her word to hear him. But when they left, they said, we now believe because we've heard him for ourselves. And that's just marvelous to know how Jesus will speak. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the theme for the, the weekend was come and I will give you rest. And so it was, that's, that's where all of our topics were going, was going toward the rest that the Lord wants yes. to give us. Yes. And we need to know that in these days, uh, our rest is not because we don't have unstressful situations, because if that's when our rest is or our peace is, then that's our peace. Mm -hmm. But He is our peace, regardless yes. of yes. what the situations yes. Yes. are going on. But I love that story of the woman and that she was so loved by Jesus yes. that when she went to tell the city and started the evangelistic crusade, she said, come and see the man who told me everything I ever did. Yeah. What an unusual evangelical <laughs> tool. I mean, imagine going out, come, this man, he knew I was a, an addict and you know, you just gotta come see this guy. And then the people came out and said, we heard what you said, yes. but now we we believe yeah. because yes. of what we've yes. seen ourselves. It, it was almost the wording that they used was, we believed what you said about right. him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. But now yeah. that we've heard for ourselves, we know yeah. that he is the Christ. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And Amazing. of course that was a few days before they stoned or you know, tried to throw yes. him out of the village. Yeah. But I mean, still, yeah. it was it was yeah. revival and understanding. Yes. That village knew her. Yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah. did. I mean, when she said, That's he exactly. told us everything I did, and they went, we could have told you. <laughs> you go, well, no, it's not about that. It's like this complete stranger didn't yeah. say it condemning. Right. Which is just saying, hey, I get yes, it. I know where you've been. Yes. Just, just almost the same way as Peter. You're going to deny me three mm -hmm. times. But I don't care about that. Yep. Don't really care about yep. that. I just pray that your faith doesn't yep. fail. Right. And yep. it's totally opposite of what we do now. Yes. We freak out about the shortcomings and the sin instead of Jesus going, dude, get back yes. up. Come on. Yes. Let's go. I love you. Yes. Yes. Let me yes. brush you up yes. and you know, put a, a Band-Aid on your boo-boo and let's go. Yes. <laughs> and so uh, is, was that the end of that? or Yeah. What, what about, what did you cover? I covered the peace in the midst of persecution. And it was really, I mean, all it was 
about, which is the peace. The only peace you can find is in Jesus Christ. Yes, it doesn't yes. matter when the attacks come, the persecution comes, it doesn't matter because our safety and our security is in Him, yes. always in Him. And you just can't be moved by what's going on. You have to keep your eyes on Jesus. Well, you've been in some interesting places <laughs> yes. in, in the world mm -hmm. where safety might have come up. Oh, at least once. <laughs> <laughs> and so does it work in those places? Uh, it works in every place I've been. Yeah. yeah. So you, you were in Afghanistan for a little while? Mm -hmm. Was there. Got, I had many opportunities to see the Lord move on to, for protection and to have peace when things were not working well. I mean, I showed with the ladies that there's nothing like hearing an uh, incoming rocket that has that whistle before it gets there, it makes the sound, and you're just standing there, and all that can cover you is just the peace of the Lord. I mean, there's security in knowing that He's got you, no matter what. So, yeah, I had plenty of opportunities. To yeah, that, uh, that's where you find out if the rubber, where the rubber meets the road, yes, as they yes, say. Yes, yes. Well, one of the things she said that I loved is, that death knocks at your door and you open up and you go, hello, Jesus. <laughs> well, and it is for those that fear death. Yes. Yes. They're afraid to open the door, but those of us that are in Christ, yes. when you open the door, that's what we're, I mean, that's yes. what we yes. I, love yes. I mean, I thought that was good. Yeah. Jesus is out there knocking at the door. Yeah. Housekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it was a, then it was a good weekend, Debbie. Oh, oh yeah. Also spoke. Very oh, you were there? I was. <laughs> I was. Well, I talked about the, about Jesus being our peace, and uh, I love Isaiah 26, 3 that says, He will keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on Him. And the enemy is always wanting us to think about all the stuff, yeah. Yeah. all the stuff, but Jesus was, just wants us to keep our minds and thoughts on Him, mm -hmm. and we can stay in peace. So the peace, I'm sorry, you were going to say No, I was just going to say that um, the scriptures that I ended with was Psalms 91, mm -hmm. you know, and I prayed that every day, and actually I had it uh, typed out and stapled, uh, stapled on my door of the tent where I stayed, and it was a constant reminder that not only was he where I dwelled in that safety, but everyone that was in that tent, everybody yes. that was on that base, every yes. uh, person that was in Afghanistan was covered by the wings and the shadow of a of the Most High God, and I mean, we just saw supernatural yeah. protection that, you know, was amazing. The story of Acts, you know, Paul mm -hmm. on that ship, yeah, prayed and said, God showed me, may not go so well here, but he's given me everybody on this ship. Mm -hmm. yes. Everybody's coming out of this, yes. so let's eat up, yeah. you know, get ready to go. And you're going to, I have no idea what that means, but that's peace. That's right. That passes understanding. Ship's mm -hmm. breaking apart. I mean, you're going like, what mm -hmm. the? Plus, okay. God given it to us. Yes. There was one time that I was on the side of the base that I, um, sh well, I should have been there, but it was the wrong timing. Obviously, I didn't know that the incoming rockets were coming, but I wasn't familiar with where the uh, bunkers were for the protection. And so I was looking back to see if anyone was going in the direction I was going because I wasn't sure. And when I did, there was two military, uh, two military men behind me. And so I kept walking. So then I wasn't finding where I wanted to go. And then all of a sudden I looked back and they were actually angels. They were warring angels, two of them. And then about that time I found the bunker and, and was able to get in. Running from the angels? No. <laughs> they were probably pushing me along. Like, if you'll just go, we'll get you there. <laughs> That's Sodom and Gomorrah thing. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, get in there. <laughs> Well, I didn't. I didn't turn to salt. So that was a good thing. <laughs> what was funny though about that story is because I had been praying for Jan when she was in Afghanistan, and I had seen her like um, on, yes. on the face of a dice. You know, there's like on five, there's one in the middle, and then a dot on mm -hmm. each corner. And I had seen her like in the middle, surrounded by, by yeah. four angels. And then I talked to her the next day or so, and she was talking to me about. It. I said, "That's exactly yeah. what I had seen." Isn't that awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. So that peace that passes understanding was always the interesting thing. You know, it's, it makes a great song, it makes a good scripture. But you're saying, no, that, that whole passes understanding thing doesn't yes. mean that you oh. just feel so good. <laughs> yeah. It means yeah. like the, yeah. you know, well, Jesus yeah. in the boat is yeah. sinking. Yeah. He's sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. That's peace that passes understanding. Yes. The disciples yes. not handling yes. quite the same. <laughs> but it was that whole thing of understanding yes. that somehow I'm freaking out. But if I can just keep my cool yes. and hang on to yes. Jesus. Because he'll float. I mean, yes. he'll float. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I know he's not going down. Hang yes. on to Jesus. Yes. It was the same thing with those uh, snakes, the fiery serpents, which yes. you had in Afghanistan. Yes. Yes. You tell yes. me. Yes. Uh, and uh, that that God said, okay, here's the deal. These have come in, 
Here's the snake on the pole, the bronze serpent, representing, of course, Jesus Christ being lifted up. And he said, crawl out of that tent. You know, have your family drag you out, whatever you got to do, but you've got to be worthy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you've got to be sure you followed the law. <laughs> you got to be sure you haven't thought, any oh no, wait a minute. It didn't have a qualification. There was one That's qualification. Right. Yeah. Look at the snake. Yes. Yes. Look at the snake. Yes. Yes. That is what the peace that passes yes. understanding. Yes. Oh, yes. And it's the same today. That's Look right. at the snake on yes. the pole. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus yes. said that to uh, one of the guys before the cross, of course. He was saying, just like that snake, the bronze snake that was lifted up, lifted up he said, so will the Son of Man be lifted up yes. Yes. for all yes. to see. Yes. Get your eyes on Jesus. Look yes. at him for your righteousness, yes. for your yes. peace, yes. Yes. for your yes. safety yes. and security. Yes. Yes. And if everything goes haywire, you still got somewhere to go. It's a win-win. Yeah, not <laughs> eternal not life. Jesus. Yeah, kill it. <laughs> well, you know, uh, Janet used Psalm ninety-one, and it says there, if a thousand fall at your side and ten thousand yeah. at, at your right hand, it's not coming near you. So you have to have that confidence. Mm -hmm. That's easy to say tonight here when mm, we're yes. sitting in, you know, my uh, living room and everything's good, the ground's solid, and you know, it's not storming, and everything's cool. But when you face those times yes. that are so rocky and things are falling apart, that that gives us the confidence that even if I'm standing in the middle of 11,000 people, mm -hmm. I can be the one that's gonna be left standing when it's yes. all over with. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So you look at the, um, we're coming up on this season of, of Christmas, and you go, you reflect back to the Christmas story, and the angels appear on that night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, announcing the birth mm -hmm. to the farmers in the field, you know, and their message yelling from heaven is what? Peace Glory on to earth. God in the highest. Peace, Peace on, on earth. earth. Goodwill Good to men. men. That's the opening salvo of this big thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Peace yes. on earth. Yes. And, yes. And, and of course, man takes that and says, oh, we're going to have peace. And you're going, no, peace just got born. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Peace yes. is now on the earth. Peace is now on the earth. Goodwill towards man yeah. is now yeah. on the earth. Yes. And yes. he's growing up. And it's yes. going to, in, in a matter of a few years, he is going to be lifted up. Mm -hmm. And he is going to take that, all of that pain and suffering and sorrow yes. and sadness and sin and destruction that the enemy's done and given you opportunity to throw mm -hmm. that away. Yes. Peace yes. for you. Yes. Shalom. Amen. Shalom. Amen. Yes. All is well. Yes. Yes. Shalom. Yes. Increasing blessings, yes. increasing favor, yes. peace. And we get taught every day beats us up. Every day, yes. the news, ourselves, yes. you yes. know, frustrations yes. with cars or lights or cameras or, <laughs> or, 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 or like airports. <laughs> and, you know, just yeah. any of that kind of stuff. Or the person that won't drive fast enough or drives mm -hmm. too slow or has their blinker on or what doesn't matter. Those mm -hmm. frustrations, you begin to try to get that peace. Yeah. You're going, you mean just that peace of mind? I'm going, no, just to try to get you to think on anything mm -hmm. but Christ. Yes. Yes. I mean, we should be going like, you know, just driving down the road smiling and people are going, hey, why are you smiling so much? I go, I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. <laughs> no, no, because I know Jesus. Regardless yes, of what happens, yes, yes. I still got one in the yes, wind column over yes, here. Yes, I'm okay. Yes, yes, Compared yes. to somebody that doesn't know Jesus mm -hmm. and they're going like that. Yeah. And the sadness of that and the horror of that for me, mm -hmm. why? Mm -hmm. How tough is it to believe in the Lord Jesus yes, Christ? Yes. Amen. Yes. Anyway, I, it's a lot harder to believe the other stuff than to believe yeah. in Jesus. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. So um, let me just get, turn it just a little bit here on this, on this section of the Christmas story of peace on earth, goodwill to men. Mm -hmm. Jesus comes, so peace is on earth and he's, he's gone up and he's a man of peace, acquainted with sorrows yes. and suffering, mm -hmm. but he's a man of peace. Again, humanity takes that to be the UN model. Mm -hmm. You know, beat your swords into plowshares. Mm -hmm. You go, well, there's a day that that will come, mm -hmm. but it has nothing to do with the world. Yeah. Yes. Right. Certainly you know, not the government yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because the scripture before that is beat your swords into plowshares. Mm -hmm. A few verses before that saying there's going to be trouble yeah, before this. Yeah, plowshares into swords. Or plowshares into swords, yeah. <laughs> and so man tries to go about, even the church will try to do, blessed mm -hmm. are the peacemakers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Or if you watch Mighty, Mighty Python, some guy in the back of the crowd that day when Jesus was saying that, he goes, what? Blessed are the cheesemakers. <laughs> uh, no, sorry. No, Got to edit that out. Now. No. Um, but blessed are the peacemakers. They shall see God. And so we again take everything that we hear and read in the Bible tends to and bring it down to the human level. Mm -hmm. And, you, and you're going, wait a second, you can't bring peace. 
Have you ever talked to somebody that disagrees with you? <laughs> Have you ever been married? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, my favorite is the bumper sticker that says coexist. Yeah. It has all the signs of the religions and you're like, when one religion wants to kill all the others, yeah. it's like, I don't think we can coexist. Yeah, that was not working out so well. <laughs> but it is this idea of, of, of the narrative of peace that it's my job. Mm -hmm. And you're going, no, it's your job to be a light yeah. and let the peace maker. Yes, yes, Flow. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Because peace among men is not the function yet of this age. Yes. The peace on earth and the peace of God is, hey, God's not mad at you. Amen. He's not mad at the world. Amen. Because Jesus took all of the wrath yes. of God oh, on that cross. Yes, all he of did. It, yes, he extinguished did. Extinguished it, came out of that Amen. grave, having been greater yes. than the judgment of God and said, now, no enmity between God and man, if you are in Christ Jesus. That's the peace we're talking oh, about. Yes, yes, yes. And if a church yes. or a person can get you to focus on the yes. man peace, yes. or yes. the unity peace, yeah. Yeah. and you're going, no, don't you understand? Our peace is in Jesus. Yes. Our yes. unity is in Jesus. Yes. That's yes. Yes. our yeah. power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't let man drive you into some human thing that takes you away from your power. Yes. For the weapons yes. of our warfare, Second mm -hmm. Corinthians 10, right, mm -hmm. are not carnal. That's not our strength. My, yes. Yes. You, yes. my lifetime, I'm, you know, I'm 25, 26. <laughs> my, <laughs> okay. We're not lying here. <laughs> In my lifetime, you know, five, six presidencies. And, you know, you don't pay attention to it much until you get a little bit older and you start paying attention to stuff. And then you begin to realize, Everybody's got a peace plan for Israel. Every yeah. president comes in with this agenda. That's the biggest agenda. And I'm going, are you guys just idiots? I mean, you're idiots. Is that rhetorical? Yeah, it's, it's like you. It's like that yeah. thing you got to go do. Okay, we got to haze you. If you're going to be president, this is your hazing. You got to get up there and pretend like you can make peace in Israel. Good luck with that. And it's like it's where peace goes to die. Yeah. It is a fool's errand yeah. for man to try to do that. Yes. But that's how we do it in the church. That's how we do it in humanity because we read the words that were intended between God and us yes. in the kingdom of God and we apply them yes. as a human function. Yeah. Again, self-righteousness. I'll make peace. Good luck. But Jesus said, I didn't come to bring peace. But a sword. But a sword. So we're, we, like you said, man in his own effort, we just think if we can come to the meeting of the minds, oh, yeah. intellectual, oh, yeah, yeah. that we can mm -hmm. have peace, that that, that will or, never happen. Or if we can talk long enough and explain it. <laughs> or loud <laughs> enough. Loud enough, <laughs> then we can do it. But we do pray for the peace of Jerusalem oh, yes. Yes. because Jesus is the peace. Yes. Yes. And we're That's praying right. for the Messiah to yes. come yes. to this yes. nation yes. of Israel and the city of Jerusalem. Come back, yeah, because yes. he came. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, but to, to be revealed, yes. to be revealed yes. in yes. a big yes. way. Yes, yes, yes. Um, did you have anything to add there? I, I was just going to go on with this because it's, uh, to me, I, I've seen the Bible recently. You're f finally for the first time in my life that there's this two or three levels, obviously. And, and we tend to dwell on level two, which is the human narrative, mm -hmm. the stories of the people, yes. the yeah. stories yeah. of this. And I, I know yeah. people get caught up in Jesus told parables and we need to tell parables. And I'm going, that's great. But most of those parables were to conceal it from people. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not to, not not to, to reveal, reveal it. it. Yeah. 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 And I'm going, so uh, I think we should just speak truth. We'll let storytellers tell parables because there's people out there that God will open their ears to see the principles and the things mm -hmm. in that mm -hmm. well, and bring them into the kingdom. And then some interpret that as dumbing it down. Yeah. Like even for children, that they bring it way down. But I believe, and mm -hmm. I know mom and dad used to teach us all the time, that in children even are eternal spirits. Yes. Yes. Even yes. though yes. they may be five or yes. six, they have an eternal spirit in there that's not five or six. It's an adult. Yeah. So we're mm -hmm. preaching to the spirit, mm -hmm. not to their intellectual understanding. And there's not a junior Holy Spirit. No. No, no. Mm -hmm. There's one Holy Spirit that speaks to the spirit of humans, right? Mm -hmm. regardless of age. Mm -hmm. So it is understanding that your, your na human narrative, if you get on this human narrative, it's angels and demons and doctrines and wars and kingdoms and, and, and it's amazing stuff and it's distracting. Mm -hmm. The main point of that human narrative is to kind of go see what they did. And in spite of that, <laughs> yes. here's what I did. Yes. 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 Because the, yeah. the true arc or narrative, what I call level one, 
is Jesus. Yes. From, yes. from Genesis yes. to yes. Revelation. Yes. And so if you yes. if you live here, you're going to learn a lot of good stories and you're going to have a flat forehead because you're going to be beating it against the <laughs> wall most of the time because the humanity doesn't make sense. Yes. yes. The yes. Bible doesn't yes. make yes. sense yes. on a human narrative mm -hmm. except as a social organization, right. which right. most of our churches has happened. And social organizations end up being political organizations oh, yes. that end up being activists, yeah. that end up yeah. being sending people out the door screaming, yes. you know, yes. for the bars because it's like, ah, I can't take it. Well, but then there's no, uh, there's no power in that. No. There's no deliverance in that. That is just people working out their own thing if you can uh, be good enough or whatever. And we can't be good enough. Let's just settle that right now. It takes the Holy Spirit, yes, yes. not just, uh, we were talking about this the other day, not just for us to be chameleons yes. that were the same right. creature, just a different color. Right. He came to transform yes. us. Yes. And yes. if I could do it myself, I don't need a savior. But yes. here's the here's the rocket science. We all need a savior. <laughs> yes, yeah. we do. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, we One do. of the brilliant things about getting older is you finally do, most people do get to an age where you're going, I don't think there's anything I've done right. I don't think there's one, just, I don't know if there's anything I did right. You know, it's like, but, but when you're young, you're going, yes, I built yes. that and I built that and we did that and this, and, and then you get older, you're going, oh man, I just messed up bad my whole life. Thank you, Jesus, for yes. your mercy. Yes. Yes. Because yes. it is yes. only the grace of God yes. that it I is. stand here today. It is. It is. I don't speak as an authority. Yeah. I speak as an absolute child going, Thank you, Daddy, yeah. for fighting my fights. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Daddy, for feeding me and for not yeah. beating the heck out of me because I certainly deserved it. Yes, yes, yes. God loves yes. us. Yes, yes. He's not looking for a war. Yes. He's not looking to destroy the world. Yes. They do that themselves. Yes. It's, it, it's on its way there now. Yes, it is. Our job is to represent our Father. Yes. To be that shining light. Yes that shining light of Christ in and through us, yeah. where Jesus said, I only do what I see my father do. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And I only say what I hear him say. What I hear him say. Mm -hmm. And one of the disciples said, show us the father. And he goes, <laughs> don't you know, have I been with you so long that if, you, if you've seen me, Jesus, you've seen, you've the, seen father. the father. Mm -hmm. It's not God 2.0. Yes. It's not, it's not this new, updated, upbeat version, nice, right. nice God. Right. Mm -hmm. He perfectly represents who God was yes. and yes. is. Yes. So yes. if you think of God differently, like vindictive and hateful and stuff like that, you don't know him. Yeah. Right. We've misread it. You've got to go back and read yes. the Bible yes. with a different mindset. Right. Because the Bible in First John tells us God is love. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he first loved us. So if he is love, mm -hmm. then whatever actions he's taken, it's love. Yes. Well, I wouldn't have done that. I'm going, yeah, mm -hmm. but you did. Yeah. Well, he is love. Yes. Yes. You have love. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking the guy that yes. is love yeah. knows what love is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. But yes. the world defines everything for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, that's what this color is. Two plus two is five. And, now that, <laughs> and this word means that. And this is what love means. I'm going, no. Love is what God is. Mm -hmm. And you guys are just a reflection or a shadow, right. yes. you know, yeah. a tiny bad shadow in dirt, certain aspects of what love is. Yes. So yes. let's go yes. to the source and figure these mm -hmm. things out that Jesus is a perfect representation of the Father. God's yes. always been a good yes. guy. Yeah. But yes. he hates evil. Mm -hmm. Hates yes. evil. Mm -hmm. And he said, I hate it so bad, I want everybody out of that system so yes. I can annihilate evil. Yes. Yes. So I know what? I'll come up with this brilliant plan. And this was before he built it, built everything. Yes. I'll get Jesus on that cross that'll take all of the people yes. out of that system yes. if they'll believe yes. in him. Yes. And then I can destroy evil yeah. without yeah. hurting the people because yes. I love the people. Yes. Yes. He still loves yes. the people. He yes. loves yes. you. Yes. He does. Yes. So get over this whole yes. God's a bad thing and church, church people are rubes. They are. All of us are rubes, man. We don't know what we're doing, <laughs> but we trust Jesus yes, that he know. loves us. Yes. Well, yes. oh, you know, several uh, years ago, and I think it's still popular, they came out with the bracelets and everything. What would Jesus do? WWJD. And so then people were talking about the acts of Jesus. But what did Jesus do? He first went to the Father. Yes. And then mm -hmm. it says he doesn't he doesn't do anything, he doesn't say anything the Father hadn't said mm -hmm. to him or told him to do. So Jesus was first spending time with the Father. Yes. That's yes. what Jesus did. Yes. And instead of us concentrating on the results, 
we could go and hear from God mm -hmm. and the results may be different, but they're still going to be good. Yes. I believe that the scriptures definitely is the Holy Word of God, but I believe that it's the skeleton. It is the, it is the floor, not the ceiling. Like, mm -hmm. oh, if we could just get to what they're doing in the Bible. No, when the church was born, it was in infancy, not, it wasn't born mature. Yes. And then now we're dribbling back to being a child. It was born in infancy. And so the Acts of the Apostles, I believe from that standpoint, not scripture like in the Holy mm -hmm. Word of God, but it's still being written today mm -hmm. because it's the acts of his people. Yes. And so yes. it's still going on. And the Bible doesn't tell me everything. For example, our, our great grandfather lost his teeth in 17 feet of water, water in the Chesapeake Bay. And so he went, he prayed and went out the next day after the tides in and out and all that. And first time down, found the, the uh, teeth in the bottom of the Chesapeake Bay. Purpose I personally purpose. think that I could have believed for money before I picked those <laughs> nasty teeth up out of the bottom. But anyway, he was a fisherman. So, um, but the Bible doesn't say you can do that. Mm -hmm. right. But by right. believing God, yes. it's going to cause us and we're going to respond yes. to be yes. able to do all kinds of things mm -hmm. that even aren't in the scripture. So that's why I say it's a skeleton that we're adding flesh to because of our belief in God yes. and believing what God can do. And so it, the expression of that is different in all of our lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So what is coming in this next year, the next mm -hmm. couple of years? Do you guys have any clue? Um, where the church is going, what we're going to become, or are we, because you can tell it's shaken. Yes, it is shaken. And we love the church. We love God's people. Yeah. This isn't about any of that mess. We're just talking, it's shaken. It's shaken. Mm -hmm. It's shaken. The whole world's shaken, and everything that can be shaken yeah, will be shaken. shaken. Where's this going to end up? I believe that we're going to see Jesus <clears throat> as we've never seen him. Yes. I believe the church is going to change. I believe that what we've known as the church, as I've told uh, people, I was born in a parsonage that was connected to the back of the church. So I've been raised in church, and I've been in church all my life. And I can do church, listen and listen to how I'm saying this, I can do church with or without God because I know how to do church. But I believe the Spirit of God is getting ready to shake the structure and the traditions mm -hmm. that yeah. the church is in. Yeah. I, we talk about the traditions of the older, uh, of the old covenant and things like this, but we have come into our own traditions. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And I believe God's going to shake the traditions yes. to the point that there's going to be a fresh wind of God that blows through the church. We're going to hear things, we're going to see things, we're going to experience things because God is coming in his might and his power. Yes. And I know in growing up, my dad, uh, in his ministry, I saw healings, I saw a mighty works of God. And once you've tasted that, you're never satisfied again without it. And I've been in years of not being satisfied because we haven't been seeing it in the last generation or so. But God's going to bring a fresh uh, awakening, I believe. I believe. And I believe the youth in the church are going to rise up. I believe they're going to see healings and, and salvations yes. and Amen. deliverances and, and people prospering and doing well in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And I believe change, I believe we're at the door of change. I believe it's going to be greater than anything according to Ephesians 3.20, greater than anything we can ask, think, pray or dream beyond our wildest imagination. Yes, amen. We ain't seen nothing amen. yet. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Debbie, anything? Well, and, um, I'm like Mother. That we have been through a shaking, but God is shaking those things off yes, of us that, yes. that try to uh, bury us, per se. Right, and right. there's a scripture that talks about having a form of godliness, but, but denying, denying the power thereof. And God didn't yes. just come 
for us to, isn't it nice for us to get saved? And isn't that wonderful? But he came that we also could have his power, yes. that we could see other people delivered. Mm -hmm. And I think in the um, coming years, the church is going to pour out of the buildings. Yes. And yes. it's going to be people, yes. not to say that church isn't going to go on, I don't mean yes. it that way, but I'm going to say that the, the people that are in the buildings are really going to have the revelation that this is not about me sitting in the pew. I may come here and get refueled up with my brothers and sisters, but when I go out of here and I'm going to my job tomorrow, or I'm going yes. to the grocery store, then I'm being sensitive to God so that I, God may say, go to that woman over there. She needs to hear this word or go give that, pay for that person's groceries behind you. The world needs to see the yes. church in yes. action, yes. Yes. not just going by, oh, look how, what a good crowd they have in the parking lot. So when when um, before Jesus died and he uh, had the Last Supper with the disciples, I read something the other day and it was talking about a preemptive strike yeah. that he was he was dividing up his body before Satan was taking the one body per se, even though he was doing it in uh, God's will. But uh, then he gave it out. So instead of one Jesus, he was given him. So we'd have millions of Jesuses per se, all over the world, that all of us could be laying hands on the sick. Yes. All of us yes. could be doing the things, the Phillips and the Peters and the Pauls and the Marys. And, no. And <laughs> so we, we could just uh, be doing that. So it's multiplied, yes. not just the yes. people in the pulpits, but it, the power of God is for all yes. of us to be working yes. and to move, uh, move out into the marketplace. And uh, I've been hearing prophetic words about a billion souls coming into the Amen. kingdom. And I believe we're about to see harvest that we haven't mm -hmm. seen in our lifetime. I've heard of stories from old where people would uh, kneel on street corners because they were convicted mm -hmm. by the Holy Ghost. I've heard of, of <clears throat> revivals that have happened in town that the bars closed, yes. that the prison, that the jails are closed because there's no bit, nobody's mm -hmm. committing crimes because the people have come to God. That's not impossible. Amen. It's not because, and this is important, I think, too, as we're praying and believing, it's not that I'm praying that people stop doing evil. Mm -hmm. that, that's a ridiculous prayer. The prayer is that people receive the Jesus. revelation of Jesus Christ, yes, yes, and then yes, they yes. stop doing the stuff. Yes, if they just yes. stop doing the stuff, that doesn't mean that they've received yes. Jesus. Mm -hmm. He wants them to receive him. So it's a matter of Jesus coming and revealing himself, the light shining and exposing the things that are in the darkness so people come to him. Yeah. On the way to the beach, oh, yeah. to our retreat, <laughs> we passed field and field yes. of cotton white fields. cotton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some had been taken a little bit, plucked a little bit, harvested. But there were fields of white cotton. Mm -hmm. And as one of the pastors in our prayer group today said, because he made the same trip going another direction but to, towards the beach this weekend. And he was saying today that the scripture that came to his mind yes. as he yes. saw those cotton fields was the harvest is white right. yes. yes. unto yes. harvest. Yes. And we're there. Mm -hmm. we're the, we are there. Mm -hmm. We're there. God's, God's setting people up. Mm -hmm. yes. Our responsibility is not to go and just buttonhole everybody. But when God speaks to us to touch someone, he's also going to be working on them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to see harvest. Mm -hmm. It's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. So the laborers, pray the Lord of the harvest the that he sends the laborers, laborers into the harvest. Who's the laborers? Angels, according to the word. Well, that is, that is in Matthew chapter 13. Okay. At the end of the age, they're the harvest. Yeah. We are. We are. The, the Lord's Lord. harvest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out harvest, laborers, laborers into his harvest. That's everyone. That laborers is pre-cross, of course. Mm -hmm. So it has connotation to the Jewish nation. Yeah. Jesus right, yeah. was sent to the Jews. Right. And then post-cross, it's of course it is whosoever will. Yes. So in other words, now we got seed everywhere. We got mm -hmm. harvest everywhere. Yes. Every nation, yes. tribe, yes. tongue, yes. language, yes. everything. Yes. Yes. Laborers yes. all over the world. Mm -hmm. And it's like the laborers were the five-year-olds and the six-year-olds yes, and the yes, eighty-year-olds. Yes, when yes, the harvest time yes. came, everybody, everybody out yes, the field. That's right. That's everybody right. out there. All hands on deck. Yes. Here we go. Let's go raise a barn and let's bring in the harvest. Mm -hmm. and, and you're going, thank God for grocery stores. <laughs> <laughs> but but it is like that laborer is is the one who is. Some people are very conscious about it. Mm -hmm. 
And, but others, it is a, it's a natural thing yeah. of conversation, yeah. and a moment happens. Yes. The yes. door opens. Yes. Time stretches. God oh, stops them, and they ask that question. Yes. And it's like yes. you're going, oh, you stepped in it now, baby. <laughs> and you're able to share Jesus yes. and just the good things of Jesus. And you're going to see one of two things. You're going to see their eyes kind of moving like this, where they're, yeah. they're like looking for a way out, <laughs> or they're going to be wide. Mm -hmm. yes. And you're going to say, somebody's hearing something yeah. there. Like a marine on the beach. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, a couple of months ago. Yeah, I had gone to the uh, beach to visit a friend of mine uh, a couple of months ago, and so we were sitting on the beach and we were eating some peanuts. It was about five, five thirty at night, and so this uh, young guy came walking down the beach, and so as he walked by, he said, "Oh, that smells good. Is that peanuts?" And we said, "Yeah." And we said, "You want some?" He says, "Oh yeah." He'd just gotten off. He was a lifeguard, and so we started talking to him, and so he began to tell us, "Yes, Gerald." He began to tell us that uh, he was getting ready to go to, he was a Marine, getting ready to go to Afghanistan for his third tour. And so um, I started talking to him about Psalm 91 and, and all, and I said, can we pray for you? And he said, sure. So he came right between my uh, friend and my chair, and so we just laid hands on his arm, and then I felt him go down, I thought, oh my gosh, he fell out on the beach, but he just went down <laughs> on his knees. But when we finished praying for him, and we prayed for his unit, that they would come back safe, they would not have any PTSD and all that, and he was just crying. Yes. He was just crying. Yes. So, I mean, people are hungry for They're truth hungry. and yes. to know that God cares about yes. us. Yeah. I know a couple of weeks ago, um, the Lord kept prompting me to take two watches in to have uh, batteries put in. Well, I don't wear a watch. I have one on today, but normally I don't. But um, I just couldn't understand that because it's like, I don't even wear these. <laughs> and so I argued kind of with the Lord. And so we don't have, my point about this is that you don't have to do everything just perfect exactly. yes. Yes. being yes. all holy yes. and all that yes. so I said okay Lord I'll go and take these watches if you take me if you show me that that watch repair is, is close to me where I think it is so I go and I do my errands I come by that little place and it wasn't there so I thought I was off the hook I'm like woohoo I'm going home and I this great this. woman of God yeah. well, <laughs> <laughs> at times but anyway so then I was going to turn and go towards my house, and the Lord said, keep going straight. And I thought, okay. So then I thought, well, this I got this too, because I couldn't think of anywheres on 377 <laughs> that would have a watch repair. So I turned, and right when I was looking towards where my CPA is, oh, my gosh, with huge, giant letters <laughs> on the window, it said, watch repair. So I drove in, I took the watches mm -hmm. in, and I'm thinking, this is going to cost me 25 bucks or something. And I thought, what a waste of money. So I go in, I give it to the young lady. She goes in, takes it to the um, watch repair guy. He comes back out a little bit later. So I'm standing and I'm thinking, well, this is a waste of money and a waste of time. God, you weren't in this at all, is what I was thinking. Well, when I went to pay the lady, she started telling me, she said, I just, I, I felt, you know, a couple years ago, I was so desperate. And last year I thought about committing suicide. And she said, I really need someone to talk to. And I just smiled. I went, oh. <laughs> so I just began to share Jesus with her and, you know, encourage her and, and tell her, you know, all the things that she needed to hear mm -hmm. about him because he was the only answer yes, for her. Yes. And it still cost me twenty five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but it was worth every penny. You know, but I didn't do it, you know, really with the best attitude, but I did yes, do yes, it because I heard the yes. father say mm -hmm. and then I, you know That's good. That's good you know, because we you know, think we have to be, to be so just perfect. so right in public because yeah. it's about yeah. the doing. Yeah. If I do it just yeah. right, like yeah. Jimmy says, and if I had the right attitude, I didn't have the best attitude. <laughs> I did have twenty five dollars and eleven cents. <laughs> well, we are we're about done here. So I uh, want to ask you, I know put you on the spot here, but if you would close us out with a prayer about the harvest mm -hmm. and about sending labors into the harvest. Absolutely. And uh, and, and then you're you're welcome to make uh, 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 throw out the net here too if you want. Okay. But uh, just let the Lord lead you. But basically pray about the Lord sending labors out into the harvest Amen. today. Okay. Father, we just thank you that yes. you are mindful of every man, woman, yes. and child on the face of the yes. earth. Lord, we know that your word yes. said that you would, that none should perish. Yes. And Father, we yes. know that means yes. everybody. And Father, as we look at to you, who 
who is more than able Amen. to know how to draw Amen. and reel these people in, Father. We know yes, that you have yes, a way, you have a word, you've mm -hmm. got someone, a laborer, laborer to be put in their path. Yes, Lord, Jesus. we have said yes to you. Let the body of Christ rise up to understand yes, that it is a privilege to be able to share the gospel with people that are dying. And, and, and will not have eternal life if they mm -hmm. don't understand that Jesus loves yes. them and never yes. intended that for them. Yes. And so we thank you, Father, that the, the field is wide into harvest, and we're excited about the multitudes and multitudes of yes. people that yes. are coming in. Yes. We yes. rejoice now before they even come, Lord, <laughs> that they're coming to Jesus. Yes. And so I want to look at each one of you right here in the camera and say, yes. if you don't yes. know yes. Jesus, yes. today's the perfect day yes. for that. Yes. Yes. Why wait? Yes. What are you waiting for? You may yes. not have tomorrow. Yes. And he's so yes. awesome. There's nobody. Yes. There's no one else else but Jesus Christ that can turn your life around. Yes. There's no one else yes. that can bring yes. you out of the sorrow and the depression, yes. out of the sickness and the despair that you feel. Yes. When you look at the TV, when you look at what's going on in your family, don't do that. Look up to Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. So we say, the simple thing is say, Jesus, I believe that you yes. are my Savior. Yes. You died yes. on the cross. You did everything for me, and I accept you this day. Yes. And if you've done that, let us know. Let someone yes. know yes. this day. Yes. Confess yes. that Jesus Christ is your Savior this day. Don't Amen. miss an opportunity. Amen. He's Amen. knocking at the door and just say, hello, Jesus. Amen. 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 If you did receive Jesus today or want to uh, just ask a question or just give a praise report about what you saw today, be, please be sure and let us know at Sea Life TV at SeaLifeTV.org. Just drop an email to us. We'd love to hear from yes, you. Yes. And uh, uh, we'd also like to thank Dr. Jan McNutt for yes, being with us today. Yes. All the way from Texas. It's been a real blessing to our family. Yes, and uh, yes. Dr. G, Dr. Debbie Brewer over there. Glad she's here too. Amen. And Dr. Jean Chester, very glad she's here. Amen. <laughs> she's been like a mother to us she's all. Been just like, she's been my favorite mother. <laughs> and uh, appreciate your time. And God bless you this week. And know this God loves you. He yes. just loves you. Yes. yes. And yes. Um, we kind of like you too. Yes. Thank you. We'll see you next time. God bless you.